So once you load the app for Bernier Graphical Analysis on your Chromebook, you should see this first window. And today we're going to enter data manual entry. So you're going to want to click on this because we're going to enter the data. And we're going to enter the data in these two columns over here. X is our independent variable. So we're going to click on these three dots here for the column options and click on column options. And the name for this, the X axis is time. And the unit, the symbol that we used were seconds. And then just go apply. Notice it puts it right here. And then it also put it down here on our X axis. Okay. Now if we click on the three dots by the Y up here in the data table, same thing. We are going to put position. And the units that we had was centimeters. And apply that. Okay. Now, what you need to do is take your data points and put them in here. I'm just going to start with zero seconds, and then we did like three seconds, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of use those same ones that we did. And then I'm going to just make up some numbers here and put these in. Um, so at zero time, we're at zero. 22 centimeters, 45 centimeters, um, 68 centimeters, 100, ninety centimeters, and then 115. Okay, so you see the data points are plotted on my graph. Okay, now we want to do what's called the best fit line. If you go down here to the bottom corner on the left, you'll see this graph with kind of a um, curved line on it. We're going to choose, click on that, and then we want to go to apply curve fit. So to apply the curve fit, the first one that comes up is linear. That's the one I would choose because it looks like my data points are falling right on that line. Okay, hopefully you collected good data. It should be a linear fit and then I'm going to apply. Notice when I apply it, it calculates everything over here for me. M is really the slope. That's what slope is. That's how they define slope. So this value right here is slope. And that's telling me that this is moving 7.533 centimeters every second. Okay? B right here is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is my starting position. Now, we said we started at zero time we started at zero. This is pretty close to zero. It's 0.2. It's a negative 0.2. And that's because this is done by a calculation. So it's calculating using your data set that you put in here. Okay. So the next thing what we want to do is we need a title on our graph. Go back to graph tools and go to edit graph options at the very bottom. And right up here it says title. When you do a title, you put what is on the y-axis first. So we go position. And then we go versus. We just do vs time. And then we could say this is for the buggy car. And we could say, just say what that is. Okay? And when you got that done, just click on the graph. And notice it should show right up here. Okay? Now, if I need to add another data set, if I want to graph another set of data on here, I would go up here to data set one and click on those three dots. And then I'd go add a new data set right here, and it would give me another data set if I wanted to make for another car. Okay? So we could put two on one graph. Now, the other thing is to make both of them show up, I believe you have to go over here and click on yes. 
click on right here where it says position and you would have to tell it make the data set one show up and data set two show up and then they should show up on your graph okay so you'd have to tell it to make both of them show up so then the next thing is you need to take a screenshot of this put this into a Google Doc and share it with me in Schoology. Okay, there's a place for you to upload this. I believe there's a place for you to screenshot this and put it on the worksheet for worksheet 1A. I think that's what we're going to do is you're going to put this on the worksheet. You're going to take a screenshot and I just need a screenshot of just the graph. I don't need a screenshot of your data set. 